Okay, here we go. So what we have is our uh, simple automata, and it's uh, in this case it's just a it's a penguin with moving arms. It's really not too difficult. It involves a couple of bendy straws, uh, which is probably something we won't be able to do uh, in the near future uh, with the plastic straws. Anyway, we'll have to buy some uh, paper uh, bendy straws. So let's get started. It's not too hard. Uh, a lot of little steps in it and I've made some templates templates to make it a little easier so let's put this one aside uh, so first thing we need to do is prepare our paper roll and this you can get anywhere this is a toilet paper roll uh, you can use uh, paper towels and, and cut them a little shorter and what we're probably going to do with the older kids is we're going to get them to make their own roll uh, just rolling up paper uh, and and trying to figure out how to uh, make the hole in the bottom, but I think for the younger, <coughs> uh, for the EYs or the kindergartens, we're going to do it this way, just to make it one step easier for them. So first thing we should do is uh, we're going to pop some holes in it, and I'm going to use a hole punch, and this is a standard size hole punch. It's, um, I believe it's a, a quarter inch hole punch, but it's a normal size, uh, and you know you can fit uh, straws through it, which is nice. And I'm going to put a hole on on either side, and I'm going to try to get it even if I can. So I'm going to go all the way down, and till as far as the hole punch allows me. And there's one, and I'm going to try my best to line up the other one. May or may not be correct, but that's okay. And there's the other side. Right, you can do this any way you want. I'm just doing it so I can see through the hole to the other side. There we go, and that's uh, that's pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to put that aside for now. <clears throat> what I've done for uh, my uh, kids at school is I've made a uh, three panel template. And what I've done is uh, I've actually done, gone and got some clip art of a penguin head and the two, um, the two wings of the penguin. And I uh, just copied them, cut them out, um, uh, you know, clipped them trim them a little bit and put them up here and I have this cir circle template that we're going to use in a minute so what I've done is just to make the job a little easier for them I've, I've made templates that they can have uh, to work on this and I've gone ahead already and cut them out so there's this there's this there's the wings the head and this circle piece now the circle piece is going to be for the bottom and so obviously they cut around the circle right cut around the circle and what they're also doing is they're cutting out tabs. Okay, and that's what I've done for the kindergartens just to make it easier as well. We've, we've been working on tabs, they're getting pretty good at it, but for this one I kind of wanted a certain length. So I gave them a template with the lines on it already that need to be cut. Now before you do anything with this, uh, especially because it's for uh, kindergartens, what you're gonna do is put a hole in the middle of it because this is actually gonna be on the bottom of your or tube it's going to fit in like this and we need a spot for the straw to go in and out so I'm going to push one of these in already and I'm going to go and get as close to the middle as I can I didn't put any marks on it because you can kind of guesstimate it doesn't have to be in the middle there we go that's pretty close okay and so I'm going to do that and now what I'm going to do is I'll take this piece off and quick go all the way through there and now what they do is they just fold it all the way around because this is going to be the cap on the bottom of the, um, the tube. Okay, and the older kids should be able to do this on their own. Right? Like probably the grade, eh, the grade ones I might still give them a template just to make it easier so they have some success. And what they'll notice too is as they fold them in, this might be something of interest to them is they'll notice that it, it becomes more like a, a bit of a wheel because all of them are overlapping. That's because it's, it's round, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to put it on this end like this, right? and the more they fold it, the better it is. And we are going to tape it down, put my hand on it. Tape it down there, and we'll put tape in a whole bunch of spots. Like that. 
and they may want to lay it down to do this, but it's actually easier if they just put their hand on it and put a piece of tape on it. Okay, I'm doing it very much the same as how they would do it. Okay, now I'm going to put a few more on. And then after, it's okay to put the tape on because they can decorate it later uh, with uh, different pieces of paper, um, some black and white paper, just uh, however they want to uh, uh, decorate the penguin or, or, or put the, the proper things on it. So there you go. So now it has a hole in it, all right? And we can put the straw through. And these are, these are a little, actually these are a little bigger. You might just have plastic straws. We, we only have paper straws now, um, standard straws in, uh, in, in Hawks Maker Space. So this is, this is how it's going to work. This is going to be the thing that goes up and down. Okay, and the way the movement works is we have a couple of bendy straws here, and these are the last little bit of plastic bendy straws that I have. So we're going to have one on either side, right? One is going to come out of this side, and the other one is going to come out of this side, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to tape them on the big straw. And what I did with my original one, I, and right or wrong, uh, I'm not sure, but uh, I just I, I just left a little bit of space at the top, and I'm going to put a piece of tape across it. And this is how I would get the kindergartens to do it as well. I get them to hold it like this, and then I'd say, okay, put a piece of tape across the whole thing like that. All right, and then put another one on the top of it like this. All right, so that when they pick it up, it's already taped together and flip it over and tell them to go like this. All right, and push the tape across. Now I'm going to tell them again to do the same thing on this side. All right, go like this. <clears throat> And go like this. All right. Now they can pick it up and wrap the tape around like this and like this. Now what happens is you can bend your straws out a little bit, and this is really long, right? Like when that arm comes through, it's going to be pretty long. So you can safely cut uh, a little bit off to make it easier to put it in the holes. Uh, you know, maybe what's that about f uh, five? Maybe five centimeters. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna err on the side of caution. I'm not gonna cut as much off as I think we need. We'll probably end up trimming that a little more. Now this is the trickier part, okay? Because you have to put the straw in, and you sorry the paper the ma the main straw in, and these also through the holes on the side. And it is a little tricky to do that. Uh, they might need some help. It's a it's a bit of fine motor work. So when you put it in. All right, you can see it over there, and it doesn't quite want to go in on the right angle, but you might have to just kind of push it a little hard to get it out. All right, and this is, and it's okay if you bend the straw, All right? That that's fine. And you put, you got one going in, All right? And now we try to get the other one in, and then again, they can actually, you can bend the straw. To do this too, All right? If they want to bend the straw a little bit, they can. And now we start pushing it down, and we just have to get those bent pieces out. And the straw has to go through the hole on the bottom. All right? And this is this is the trickiest part of the whole thing, and they may need help with it. All right? And then you kind of push it through like this. And then it will bend. Right? You have to kind of maybe kind of help it out the first couple of times like this. Okay, so the bend in the straw goes the right way. There we go. And I, I would say those arms are probably a little too long. Okay, so there we go. Now I can I can put on my head. You know, we can tape it on and what. Um, I think what I did on mine is I put the arms down and I put the head at the top and you have to actually, I, on mine, I have to trim these corners a little bit so it fits, I want it to go down inside the tube, All right? So I'm going to just trim the head a little bit, 
I think I'm going to go like this and put the top of the head there so that when it goes up, right, the penguin head just kind of goes inside the tube a little bit like this, which I think looks okay. And you can do this just a number of ways. They can tape it on here or they can use a glue stick and put it on. I'm going to put a little bit of tape on. Um, the uh, kindergartens may be easier for them to do um, do some tape or sorry some uh, some glue. All right, so I'm just going to do this and put some tape on it and I'm going to do this and put some tape on this one as well. It's not it's not a real big pressure point, so <clears throat> it shouldn't matter too much. Right. So that's looking pretty good. And now we have to decide how long we want to make our arms. And uh, I think this way, I think they go down. So you can always look at it like this, and you can cut them a little shorter than that. So I'm going to make it a little shorter. Maybe like that. And then I'm going to put it on. Yep, I'm going to just tape it on. And I'm probably going to get a little bit of tape around the front of it. But that's okay. You can always color it with black marker to hide the tape, or you can trim it off. And is that? Or just fold it over. That works too. There's one side, and now this side, uh, cut some off, maybe actually I'll cut it off where that bend is. And it's okay to make it shorter because all you need is just a little bit to hold on to the, to the arms. Alright, so I'm going to turn it over, a little piece of tape, put it together. And the hardest part for them will be inserting the straws. Uh, through the holes in the tube, right? That that will be the toughest part. So you could always maybe uh, cut them even shorter, right? Because as you can see, it, it, it is pretty short, right? For how much they need. And then there's our penguin. And then all they need to do now is uh, they can put some maybe some black glue some black paper on here, glue some white paper on here. They could even make little feet if they want. And and it kind of looks like that. So there we are. And that is your Automata Penguin.